Hi, this video is to show you how to upgrade the memory in a MacBook Pro, specifically the early 2011 unibody models. This one's a 2 gig uh, core i7, but uh, pretty much should work for any uh, any version of the unibody versions of these uh, notebooks. So, first, the tools of the trade. Got a little bowl to keep track of the screws. I have a small screwdriver for opening up the back of the MacBook. And then finally, I have the memory upgrade from Crucial.com where I use the memory selector to make sure I got the exact right memory for this particular computer. So, let's get started. Step one, need to remove the screws on the back of this computer. There's going to be a total of, I believe, ten, including three long screws and the rest are short screws. Okay, all the screws are removed. You see I put them in a bowl because some of them are quite small. Don't want to lose them. Now before going any further, a few words of caution. One, we've got to be very, very careful about static electricity. Anti-static wrist straps are usually the most reliable way of safeguarding against static electricity. But you can also simply touch the metal frame of the computer to discharge any static you may have. A couple other things to keep in mind. you got to make sure your computer is really, truly turned off, not in hibernate mode. So when you shut down before beginning, make sure you shut off instead of simply closing the lid or putting it in hibernate mode. So, all the screws are out, and now it is time to remove the bottom of the computer case. Okay, I removed the bottom of the computer, set it aside, and there are the existing memory modules. Now you'll notice that there's a series of plastic clips alongside each memory module. So to begin, we'll remove the existing memory by pinching the clips to the side, and the memory pops up at a 30, 35 degree angle. It simply slides out. Now note the orientation of the this little notch right here. That's important. We'll need that later. So just I'm just going to set it here on the battery. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the module below. You know, make sure you push the clips to the side to fully release it. And the old memory is out. Now, time for the new memory. So I'll remove the packaging here. And here we go, some nice memory from Crucial.com. Each one of these is a 1333 or PC3 1600 SODIM. Um, there, again, there's a lot of different configuration options for memory, so using the memory selector on Crucial.com is really the only way to know for sure if you got the right memory or not. Okay, so I've removed each of the new memory modules and just simply set it on top of the, uh, the, the packaging for now to keep it safe. If you look at the, uh, the memory slots, you'll notice that each one has a pin or a notch to indicate you know, the correct way to insert the memory module. So, let's dig in with the first stick here. Line it up with the gold pins and the notch, and then simply push it down until it clicks into place. And then, same process for the second one. Line up with the notch, make sure I can't see the gold pins anymore, then click down and it snaps into place. The little clips should hold it tight. At this point, we'll set aside the old memory onto the packaging, keep that because there's still a lot of good uses for that. And now we'll move on to replacing the lid and getting everything put back together again. Okay. Your case screwed back down. Just a moment of truth here. So let's adjust so we can see the computer boot up. So far, looks like we're on track. I think uh, next purchase is going to be a solid state drive for this computer. And we're in. Now I'll just go up to about this Mac. I can see the extra memory and it sees it here as well. Perfect. Now I'm going to fire up a program to give this stress test this a little bit. I'm going to use a Geekbench, but there's MemTest and there's some other applications that you can use that uh, 
we'll just run a cycle of rep repetitive tests just to make sure that the uh, memory is working as planned so but looks like we have ourselves an upgraded computer